I had been hired as the safety man for a new stunt in a water ski show. It was to be performed by the star, Hal Peters. The stunt would be a thriller, if he could live through it. It was a deliberate fall from a kite 100 feet in the air. His boss and his fiance were in the stands. They were as worried as I was, but at least they could see him. There was someone else who was watching too. The stunt had worked, and Hal thought he had it made. He didn't know it then, but he'd have been luckier if it hadn't worked. He made it, Joe. He made it. Things had gone off perfectly on the first attempt. The others were relieved and happy, but I still had some mental reservations. Sensational, Hal. Give me a couple of days for publicity, and then we can put it in the show, okay? Sure. I can spot it right after we do our topside tandem. Oh, I don't know, Hal. It's awfully dangerous. Dangerous? What do you mean? It's a cinch. What do you think, Mike? It's no cinch, that's for sure. See, he thinks you were just lucky. What do you mean, lucky? That was skill. Don't laugh it off, Hal. If Mike thinks the dive is too dangerous, maybe we'd better just forget it. Oh, come on, Mike. That's a great routine. What do you say, Mike? Let me try it first, huh? But Mike, you're not really a water skier. You ski all right, but you're no expert like Hal here. So, if I can get away with it, they will know it's safe, huh? Listen, I got you out here mainly because I was afraid Hal had hurt himself and need help after he hit the water. I didn't hire you to risk your own neck. You wanted my opinion, didn't you? Yes, Well, I can't give it to you unless I try the stunt myself. Okay, Mike, it's your neck. Ever since I learned to water ski at Silver Springs, it's been one of my favorite sports. Still, as the boat picked up speed, the test didn't seem nearly as intriguing as it had on dry land. I was thinking of the man who had a tiger by the tail and was afraid to let go. There he goes. When I hit the water, I let myself fall as deep as I could. I wanted to know the maximum time for the underwater part of the stunt. I came up as slowly as possible. A week later, the great show was in full swing. A fine company of water skiers from Cypress Gardens were on hand and performing beautifully. During the first part of the show, I was underwater setting up an automatic movie camera. I was going to record the underwater part of Hal's act for a newsreel company. One of the big events was skiers soaring on kites. Hal's act would be based on this.
Then a champion skier demonstrated a most difficult trick. He was water skiing without skis. It takes perfect coordination. It's kind of hard on your feet, too. Water ski jumps followed, including some fancy turns in midair. Finally, the show reached its high point. Now for the climax of our show, Al Peters in a death-defying leap from the clouds. Hal's big moment had arrived. taking a long time to come up. I knew that it was much too long. I had to get to it, and fast. I'm sorry, June. He didn't make it. No. No. Mr. Ross? Dick James of the Chronicle. Cause of death drowning? Are they sure? Well, as sure as they can be without an autopsy. Autopsy? No. 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 I'll get you some water. You Mike Nelson, the guy who pulled him out? Yeah, that's right. How do you think the accident happened? I don't know. He was a top swimmer. 
You never had any trouble with that stunt before. I did. I killed him. It's all my fault. Easy now, Joan. Easy. Oh, Mike. Easy. If it was anybody's fault, it was mine. No, I no. I let him do the stunt. No. You better take her home, huh? Come on. Let's go home, huh? A few hours later, June still seemed to need watching. My own mind was troubled, too, by unanswered questions. Hell. Hell. You're all right, June. I'm still here with you. Uh, you had quite a long sleep for yourself. Go away, Mike. Please. I'm a jinx. If any man gets close to me, gets killed. Oh, now stop talking. Mike, Not... listen to me. Please go away. I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing's going to happen to please, me. Please, Mike, go. Hurry, please. All right, all right. Here, you take this pill first, huh? Doctor wanted me to give it to you as soon as you woke up. It'll quiet your nerves, huh? Now go, Mike, please. Hurry. All right, all right. Go, get out, Mike. All right, all right, now you take it easy. You stop imagining things now, you hear? The stadium was empty, but I rounded up the boatmen. I had to try that stunt again, and I had to do it exactly as Hal had done it. The stunt worked just as it had in our tests. I couldn't see how Hal could have been killed by it. Then I remembered my movie camera and went to retrieve it. The film might answer my questions. something on the film that I was anxious for the police to see. Wait a minute, hold it now. Back up a bit. There. See the diver down there? Doesn't look like he's just waiting for somebody to come down. For hell? That's a pretty dim figure. Could be anybody. You were down there, could be you. No, 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 no. I was on the beach at the time. Well, that camera operates automatically, doesn't it? Couldn't you have triggered it by mistake? No, that's impossible. No. I can tell by the way he swims underwater that it's not me. I don't handle myself that way. I'm positive that this is someone else. You're trying to tell me that Hal Peters' death wasn't an accident? That it was murder? Yes, I am. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Nelson. A man jumps from a speeding kite 100 feet into the water. He figures to get it. If that's all the evidence you have... No, it isn't. There's something else. Well, let's hear it. I took her home, Hal's girl, after it happened. When I left the apartment, I was almost run down by a car. Couldn't that have been accidental? No, this was deliberate. The car was aimed right at me. Can you prove that? No. The car kept right on going. Yeah, top speed. Did you get the license number? Oh, it all happened so fast, I wasn't able to. And you think there's some connection between that and what happened to Hal Peters? I think there could be, yeah. On the way back, I stopped at June's apartment. It was lucky that I did. You sure this is what you want to do? You've made up your mind. I'm going home, Mike. There's nothing left here for me anymore. Now, before you go, there's something that I'd like to know. 
You said that anybody that got close to you got killed. Well, why'd you say that? Forget it. I didn't know what I was talking about. That's what I figured then. Has something happened to make you change your mind? Yes, it has. What, Mike? What was it? Somebody tried to kill me. No. Not again. What do you mean, not again? June, come on now. Tell me. Tell me. Hal wasn't the first one. All right, now go on. There was another one three years ago in California. Oh. He was a Navy diver like the man I was married to at the time. You were married to a diver? His name was Steve Garth. Garth? Uh... Leeds is my maiden name. I see. I started to use it again after the divorce. Oh, come on, now. sit down. Tell me what happened. Steve had a partner, Bill Simons. Yeah? I liked Bill, but not the way Steve thought I did. The two of them were working together one day on, on the bottom of San Pedro. Mm -hmm. Steve was the only one who came back up. You mean your husband drowned him? Officially, it was an accident. But the Navy gave him a dishonorable discharge. I just don't know, Mike. Well, if you don't know, maybe you better stick around for a while. We might find out something. If those accidents have been accidents, that's one thing. But if they haven't, well, it won't do you any good to run away. You're gonna have to face it sooner or later. Might as well be now. But what can I do? Nothing. Not right now, anyway. But I can. Chronicle, uh, I'd like to speak to Mr. James, please. Mike, please be careful. Uh, Mr. James, this is Mr. Nelson. Uh, Mike Nelson, uh, I was to... That's right. I've got a story that you might be interested in. Yeah. This is James of the Chronicle bringing you the midnight roundup of the news. On the local front, Mike Nelson, the noted skin diver, revealed today that he intends to prove that the tragic death of Hal Peters, the water skier, was not accidental, but that Peters was murdered. Nelson said that early tomorrow he will retrieve an underwater camera that will provide documentary proof of the killer's identity. I hoped the news story would bring the murderer to the lagoon. Now I had to bait my hook and wait. dummy in place, bubbles and all, and concealed myself, and none too soon. Another diver was already moving in with a spear gun. As he took aim at the dummy, I felt as if I was witnessing my own murder. He pulled his knife, and as he went in for the kill, I went for him. I knew that it must be Steve Garth, June's ex-husband. He was brave enough when it came to ambushing someone, 
but he didn't like it when the odds were even. He was strong and seemed to know every trick that I knew. He tried everything. Finally, I was able to get a judo hold on him and pull off his air hose. When he had swallowed more water than he could stand, he gave up. brought him to the surface. He was close to drowning. You did a fine job, Nelson. You ought to be on the force. Uh, thanks, Lieutenant. But I didn't do Hal any good. Sure wish that we could have stopped Garth before he killed him. Well, that's one of the heartbreaks of this job. I just talked to June on the phone. How is she? Oh, she's still pretty shaken up. She's going to stick with the show. Well, that's good. Uh, she'll be all right. Lovely acrobatic water star, June Lee. June threw herself into her work and came through in fine shape. She's touring the country now, top attraction in her class. Hello there. I'm Lloyd Bridges. You know, three fifths of the world is covered by the sea. And how little most of us know about that underwater world. Go below with us again next week, huh? For another thrilling adventure in Sea Hunt.